Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lane if you don't already know me and today we're going to be testing out the Tati Beauty Blendiful. This comes with one Blendiful and one Baby Blendiful and I'm super excited to try it out. Like this video, subscribe, comment down below some future video requests, and follow me on Instagram. And without further ado, let's get into it. So the Tati Blendiful comes with one Blendiful, one Baby Blendiful. This product is $18.00. It says you can machine wash and dry it in a delicate laundry bag or gently hand wash in warm soapy water, rinse thoroughly, and blot dry. Do not bleach. Don't dry clean. It's 100% polyester. So let's open it up. So when you open it up, you just get the, the baby wonderful. Looks like this. And then it's got a little thing for your finger here, which is super nice. And then you have the big blendiful, which just looks like this. And then you can put your fingers through it here, which is super nice for this as well. So the directions on Tati's website say that to, for primer to use a blurring primer with the blendiful works best. Although I don't have a blurring primer, so I'm just going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Priming Water to set and refresh spray. And then we're just going to let that sit for a couple seconds. So for foundation, it just says on her website to use this and then just sweep it. Like use like brushing motions across your face. Yeah. The product dispersed really nicely. So I'm just going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Doing It Smooth Foundation in the shade 120 Classic Ivory. I'm just dipping the Blendiful into the product that's on my hand. And I'm just going to start Rubbing it onto my face. And this product is supposed to help um, not absorb as much product with like a sponge or a beauty blender does. Those absorb a lot more product than this one's supposed to. So as you can see, I'm just sweeping it across my face. It seems to be working very well. So this is what it looks like with my foundation on. It looks a little bit streaky like as you're putting it on but like it blends out for the most part. I actually think that went super super easy and I really liked that application process. That was pretty nice. I mean there's a couple pieces of hair left behind I think but washing that should fix that. I mean it's not too many to be noticed. So that was super, super nice. Okay, so now for concealer, it says take the pointed end of this and to apply your concealer, so this part. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me um, Concealer in the shade 10 Light. Just looks like this. So I'm going to be applying like a triangle like I normally do. And then I'm just taking this pointed edge right here to dab out the concealer. blended out super nice and super easy so you could also do cream contour with this but i'm not a huge fan of cream contour so i'm just gonna do regular bronzer and i'm gonna move on to powder so for powder she said that you can use this is really good to bake with so i'm going to be using the kat von d setting powder and translucent just like this 
And I'm just going to dip this in. So that was super nice and easy for applying the powder to my face. I'm just going to let it sit there for a couple minutes. I'm just going to dust off all of the powder and move it into the rest of my face. I'm just going to apply a little bit of the Maybelline Fit Me um, powder in the shade 125 Nude Beige to the rest of my face. I like the way that that let me do my primer or my, my powder. It seemed to go super, super easy on, and then it just dusted away super nicely. I really, really like that. Now to just get rid of any cakiness that I have, I like to use my Mario Badescu Facial Spray. This is the Aloe Sage and Orange Blossom one. So I just like to spray this all over my face. And then just let it sit there for a couple seconds as it dries down. So I have used products for testing out this Blendiful that I use all the time and that I love. So I'll be able to tell if anything doesn't look right with how my normal foundation and concealer and powder and all of that normally look because I know how it normally looks every time I apply it because these are some products that I really, really like. But so far it looks, it looks normal, it looks pretty good. And I'm kind of, I'm really happy with how the Blendiful is working so far. So for bronzer, I'm going to be taking the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And we're just going to be using a normal brush to do that and just bronzing my face like I normally would. And now I'm going to be going in with the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Berry Amore. Which looks like this. This is the shade number three. So after I've put on my blush and highlight, or my brush and bronzer, I just use a regular clean powder brush, like a face brush, and just blend in all of the contour and uh blush I just applied. This brush is the Morphe M180 brush. It's just a really big, nice and fluffy brush. And I just go and blend this, blend the brush and the bronzer together and just make sure that there's no harsh lines with my, bron my bronzer. So now that that is all blended out, I'm going to apply the Wet n Wild Megalo Highlight Powder in Blossom Gold. This says, her website says that you can use the Blendable for it, so I'm going to try that out. So I'm just going to bend it in half right here. Because this is my clean side, I'm going to blend it in half right here. Dip this into the product. And then apply the highlight. So this applies a nice pretty small amount of highlight. It works much better on the nose than on the cheek. And it worked well on the Cupid's bow.
but I'm just gonna take a regular brush and do my tops of my cheeks. It could be that it didn't work as well because I'm using a pressed highlight instead of a uh, loose highlight. I'd have to try it out again with a loose highlight. Okay, that looks much better. So now moving on to the eyes. I've heard that if you take the Baby Blendiful with some eyeshadow primer, it's really good at blending out the eyeshadow primer. So I'm just going to use, try that out. The Milani Eyeshadow Primer. It's a lightweight, invisible finish. Works on all skin tones. Just looks like this. So I'm just going to put the product onto the Blendiful and blend it into my eyes. That did a super nice job of covering up all of the lines that my concealer and my foundation left using when applying them around my eyes. It looks super, super nice. And it blended really, really easily. And I really, really like the way that that just applied my eyeshadow primer. Now for um, eyeshadow, I'm just gonna do my regular eyeshadow. I'm gonna start off taking the same powder that I used for the rest of my face to just set the eyeshadow primer. And then I'm gonna go into my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered palette with a fluffy blending brush and just pick up the shade Doll Face. And I'm just gonna blend that into my crease. And with another blending brush, this one's a little bit more tapered, I'm going to take the color Risqué and just, again, blend this into my crease, deepening the crease. And then with just a clean blending brush, this is the Morphe M532 brush. I'm just going to blend out the two shadow the two shadows that I have just applied into my crease. We want to make sure that there's no harsh lines and that everything is seamless throughout the eyeshadow look. So I blend almost after almost every step. I'm going into the shade Man Eater. I'm just putting that onto a small detailed brush and really focusing this on my crease line and the outer V. Really trying to deepen the outer V. And then again, I'm just taking that same M5232 brush and just blending this out. Now taking a more detailed brush, I'm just going to go back into doll face and put this underneath my, on my lower lash line. I'm also taking the same brush and going into Risky 
and applying that to my lower lash as well. And I'm just taking that M532 brush and blending out those two shades on the lower lash line. Making sure they run seamlessly into the upper, the eyeshadow that's on the top of my eye. And then I'm just taking this teeny tiny brush and going into Man Eater and applying this the closest I can get to my waterline. So I'm just going to go in with my lead color. I'm going to use the shade Pink Diamond and I'm just gonna apply that to my lids of my eyes with my finger. I feel like this shade applies best with a finger than a than a brush. It gets the best um, it gets the best pigment when using a finger, and I just like the way that the finger looks better than with a brush. The Morphe M431 brush into the shade Moon Dust. And I'm just going to be applying this to my inner corner. And my brow bone. Going in to my Maybelline New York Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner in the shade black. I'm going to be applying this to the waterline. Um, I'm going to see if this works for me to rest my hand up against so that I don't get any eyeliner or any fingerprints on my um, on my face products so that I don't mess them up. Okay, yeah, that worked really well. That really helped just move my eye down a little bit so that I was able to put the eyeliner on, but it didn't cause me to screw up any of the eyeshadow that was under, or any of the face products that were underneath my eyes. So I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Better Than Sex Liquid Eyeliner. This is waterproof and in the shade black. So I'm just going to rest my hand on this. And I'm just winging this out at the end. Okay, so next I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and add some mascara. I think that the Blendiful still looks super, super nice for applying my foundation and the rest of my makeup. It looks super, super flawless and it looks almost the exact same as how I normally had it. So I'm taking the Urban Decay Perversion Bigger Blacker Batter Mascara. 
And I really want this to look really voluminous so my eyes pop. Next, I'm just going to be spraying my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is my favorite setting spray. It lets all of your makeup stay in place all day long and when you're doing really big activities or like parties and staying out all night doing whatever, it still keeps your makeup on from morning until you go to take it off later that night. So it's super, super nice and it lasts for like 12, 14 hours. I love this stuff and it really helps make my makeup stay in place. And now for lipstick, I'm just going to be taking the Makeup Forever lipstick in the shade C211. It's just this really pretty mauve color. And here's what my makeup looks like. I think it looks really, really pretty and really, really nice. So my opinions on the Blendiful are that it's super, super nice and I actually really, really like this. I think I'm going to be using this to do my makeup pretty often. Um, there was a couple pieces of like fur that had shed off onto my face, but not too much that like I couldn't get it off. So I liked the way that this put on my foundation, my concealer, my powder. I think I'm going to wash it before the next time I use it so that I can get rid of all of the pieces that would be shedding onto my face so that then there will be no shedding and I'll have no problems with it. When you first apply it, it does look pretty streaky, but as you start to blend it out more, it the streakiness goes away and I think that was super, super great. I started to get a little bit nervous, but it did go away. I think for highlighter, I'm going to have to try out a loose highlighter because I didn't like the way that the pressed powder was applied to my cheeks. I think it applied to the nose and the cupid's bow really nice, but with the, my cheekbones, it was kind of hard to apply it because of where you're trying to put it. It wasn't able to rub off as easily. For the Baby Blendiful, I really like how it applied the eyeshadow primer. It applied it really, really nice and there was like no seams or no lines or anything. And then I also liked being able to rest this on my face so I can do my eyeliner and I wouldn't have to put fingerprints into my makeup and then have to go back and re-blend them out because there was now fingerprints in my through my foundation and my concealer, which I really liked. So my overall opinions are these are that these are really, really nice and I'm going to be continuing to use them. Tati came out with a great product and I'm so happy that I was able to get these and to try these out. They're super, super nice. And I hope that maybe you guys will get them because they are really nice and I think that you should try them out even if you don't know how to use them. She said there is a learning curve to doing these and I think you'll be able, I think you'll really like them once you try them out. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, comment down below future video requests, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!